Hey everybody, Pastor DeAndre Patterson hanging out with Sonia Blakey and one of the greatest pastors in the city of Chicago and the world and <laughs> one great musician and one great artist. Everybody, Pastor Smokey Norfolk is with Ooh. us. A whole lot of thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> A whole lot of hearts. And Not the boss lady is on too. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Pastor? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, thank you and Sonia for hanging out or letting me hang out with you for a minute. Oh my God. It took yeah. us a month. It took us a month to track you down. Yeah. That's just because I have 12 jobs. See, I have to have 12 to make what you make in one. <laughs> no, I have I have I have 13 jobs. So uh <laughs> so we all in the same boat. But uh no, I mean, so you, so you have your church in the, in Bolingbrook. I guess is it Bolingbrook or Romeoville? I always mix the two up. We started in Romeoville, but we're in Bolingbrook. But now you have Victory Cathedral in Atlanta. Victory City, Atlanta, absolutely. Victory yep. City, Atlanta. Okay, yep. so, so how many more are you gonna do? Is that it? <laughs> no, we got a lot more to come. Actually, oh, you wow. know, I, I, I won't personally, you know, be physically present for all of them, but I will oversee the people that are doing it. So, yeah. We already have Victor City, Birmingham. I don't know whether you realize that or not. We have a church in Houston, Inspiration okay. Church. Wow. So yeah, yeah, we're still going and still growing. Wow, that's incredible. I love, I love it, Pastor. I was, I was at the very first service, Sonia, in Romeo. Very first service, very first service. It was actually in um in Bolingbrook. It was at the uh, Country Club. At the golf course, yeah, at the Country yep. Club, yeah, exactly. You know, and, amazing, uh, and look at what the Lord has done for you. Won't he do it? <laughs> <laughs> won't he do it, Sonia? Sonia, I, I owe this man a debt of gratitude, and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna forever tell this story and testify of this. But uh, my first photo shoot, I had, was new from Arkansas in Chicago. I had no, no real relationships, and definitely didn't have any money. I was a lowly school teacher when I moved here. And then, of course, I wasn't making a lot when I first got here. And I didn't have clothes for the photo shoot. And the label didn't give me any budget. Wow. It was like three, four, four hundred dollars So guess where I got my clothes for my first photo shoot? D. Andre Patterson. And y'all about, about the same size, so. No, 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 no. We used to be. I grew. <laughs> I grew out. <laughs> he stayed the same size. I am bigger. <laughs> but he literally well, look he at literally what the Lord has done for you now. Loaned, loaned me the clothes off of his back just so I could actually have clothes for the photo shoot. And it was the I need you now record. So okay. there it is. <laughs> I'm gonna uh I need to I need I need to get that uh I need to look for my cover of that so I can put that on the wall. And uh, and just thank God for what the Lord has done for you, man. I'm so proud of you and so proud of what the Lord is doing for you, man. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it, brother. Yeah. So you're going to be in Chicago. You're going to be singing with us and doing the, the whole Mother's Day event with us uh, in a couple of weeks. We are so excited. I'm super excited to come to hang out and to, uh, to worship with the mothers of Chicago and all of the, the, the families that will assemble. You know, I don't do a lot in Chicago, believe it or not, because as a pastor, I got my head on my desk and I'm focused. I'm literally laser focused on that. So I just don't do a lot musically in Chicago. So whenever I do, it's always a treat. It's a huge treat. Yeah, but congratulations. Sorry, I don't know how uh, you did that. Yeah. Go ahead, son. <laughs> I'll say congratulations. Another number one song. Still have you. you. You did it. God did it. God and my children. <laughs> <laughs> my sons were the impetus behind me recording, and they actually helped to write the song with me. Um, they pulled me basically out of retirement and said, Dad, we want to work on a Smokey Norfolk record. We're doing all these records with all these other people, these secular artists and pop artists, hip hop. We want to work on the Smoky Norfolk record. So Still Have You was the first single and first first effort of that. So I'm really excited that it is a number one single. Yes. You did it again. I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Wow.
They love it though. Our people love it. And we get a lot of phone calls and emails concerning still have you. So, uh, you know, I know sometimes singers and artists and musicians try to outdo the last song or the last CD. And Pastor Smokey, that has never been you. You've not ever tried to, in my opinion, try to outdo this or outdo that. You just write, ask the Lord for some favor, and then we watch the fruit of what you're not trying to make happen on your own. It just happens because you got a pure heart when you read, when you write and you got a gold thumb, brother, you got a gold thumb. <laughs> well, you know, it's crazy because every song that I've ever done released, written has been from a life circumstance, either of myself or indirectly or vicariously through someone else. And so whenever I'm in that moment, I'm really not writing to try to write a hit. I am articulating, you know, the sentiment of my heart or somebody else's circumstance. And as a pastor, it's even more, I guess I should say, I've become more prolific because I'm right on the front line with all of the families that are struggling, that are hurting, that are going through. So I know the encouragement that they need. And so it, it's just, it's, it has been a blessing to be in this posture. It's not easy because I carry a, a burden with that. And it's a, a level of heaviness that I have to wrestle with and shoulder, but it's definitely worth it when the fruit comes out, which is the songs and the sermons. So mm -hmm. definitely worth it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't Love think it. you could ever I fully, I, I don't think you could ever fully retire. Like, I mean, you know, in my mind, in my mind, I don't think you could ever fully retire from doing music. You know what I'm saying? It's like you as an, I mean, that's attached to who you are. Not that you can't do nothing else, but I, you know, we just, yeah. I need you now. I understand God is able. I mean, like these songs are a part of who we are and yeah, no retirement, Smokey. It, it cannot happen. <laughs> I, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're right in that I'll, I'll never stop doing music because I love it so much. So it's a passion, but as a profession, I, I literally slowed down and I had to, you know, if I'm going to birth mo uh, more ministry locations, oversee other pastors and their families, um, just be on the front line of serving and shepherding people. I had to actually sacrifice my Isaac um, so that I could actually do the assignment, which is the, the greatest priority, first priority, and that's pastor. But music will always be there. I'll always participate in some way or on some level. Um, and this just happens to be a season. My wife and I are empty nesters now, so I'm ready to, I got my bags packed. We out of here. We in these streets. <laughs> I'm in LA. I'm in, listen, I'm in LA right now. Look at this beautiful palm tree. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> is it, is it, are you out there working or is this vacation or? No, no, man. I have children now that my, my because my children are grown, they live all over the country. I've got one that lives in Atlanta. And I've got one that lives out here in LA and one that lives in Chicago. So I'm out here with my youngest son, just making sure he gets uh, situated and, and settled into his new spot. Good deal. Good deal, yeah. Pastor. I, I love it. I love it. I was on the expressway. I was passing progressive coming down to the uh, to the station yesterday. Wow. And uh and as as I was as I was coming around that curve on 290, I saw uh a, a, a white uh mercedes uh, uh the c the, the what 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 was it the c230 the old, what was it? old school c something i don't know what it was, yeah, but it was c something. I, <laughs> sony sony that was the car he had when he was playing playing the organ uh at rock of ages so i was trying to take a picture while i was driving to send it to you <laughs> man time has gone by i have a you you have on a morehouse sweatshirt my son graduates from Morehouse uh, this month in in two weeks, and um, he's coming. Yeah, I know, right? It went so fast. That's the I need you wow. now, baby. That is the I need you wow. now, baby. He's twenty one. Wow. Yes, yeah. yes, he's twenty one. He graduating from college. He did it in three wow. years too. So wow. yeah, he's graduating early. That's good stuff. And then the uh, the youngest is finishing uh, his freshman year here in LA. So yeah, where did the time go, man? Wow. We old it, now, man. We we ain't we ain't the young people no more. We the old people. I, I, I know. Don't play yeah, old. Right, yeah. Don't put me in that. Don't put me in. That. Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> we, 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 You must be speaking French, cause I am not old. Right. As for me and Moss. <laughs>
Oh, Lord. What's interesting is Smokey, my daughter, she's going to be graduating from Spelman, so around the same. Oh wow! Time. Yeah, so we might run into each other. <laughs> is, do they have them? Do they have them near the same time or at the I, same it's, time? It's on that Sunday, May May twenty first. Is that your son? May oh yeah, that's the same day. Yeah, same day. I think day. yours Absolutely. is in the morning and ours is in the afternoon. Oh God bless you. <laughs> oh. Hopefully the weather is kind to you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, so incredible. Well, everybody, you got to be with us. You got to be with us on May the fourteenth for Mother's Day. It's going to be incredible. Pastor Smokey Norfolk is going to be there. Tamala Mann, Sakari Cortez, Donna McCurkin. Did I miss anybody? Wow. Tasha Cobb. Tasha, Cobb, Tasha Cobb Page Locker. Tasha Page Locker. Wow. I mean Tasha Cobb Leonard. Tasha Cobb Leonard. I'm sorry. Wow. Yeah, so. Listen, I just want to go to the show. I don't even need to sing. That's going to be <laughs> incredible. I didn't, I didn't know who was uh, ministering that night, but that's a huge lineup. That's phenomenal. It's, it's a big lineup. And if you need a background tenor, uh, Smokey, I'm, I I can still sing tenor a little bit. No, I'd rather be a doorkeeper. <laughs> 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 I'd rather be a doorkeeper. I'll be back. I'll sing tenor and 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 be your background vocalist. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Smokey, before you go, uh, we were able to find this song that you did with the Tommies. I don't know if you remember. He's all I need. Absolutely, I remember all of those songs. Oh um, my that was, God! That was my first radio hit <laughs> ever. <laughs> you got you got thirty seconds I, of that in you. Say it again. You have thirty seconds of that in you. Man, no, no. <laughs> so, so, oh so, my God. So I, I always thought your first radio hit was "If Everybody." That oh, was that was my yeah on on DeAndre Patterson. <laughs> That's, but you know what? I don't know which one came first. I don't know whether it was your song or your, your, your record or yeah. if it was He's All I Need. He's All I Need. That was, that's a good song. I found in him My God. a resting place and he's all, all I need. Oh, I don't remember these words. It's been way too very long. But Jesus is all, all I need. I tell you that he's all, and then the infamous oh. Tommy's. <laughs> <That's> really, <it. laughs> love it. My so, God, yeah, he is all I need. That was a huge good music. It was a it was a huge opportunity for me and a huge moment for me because it was my first time being on the radio, especially in heavy rotation. Like it was the song. Actually, DeAndre, yours was first. It was first because when the Tommies actually really? came out, yeah, they distributed it around the country. So it was big in Memphis. It was big in Little Rock. It was big in it He's big, All I Need. Yeah. And and He's mm -hmm. All I Need wasn't even the single. They just listened to the record and said, no, we want this one. And they started playing it. It wasn't even the single that they released. So, yeah, very, very, very I would've, dynamic. I, I would have said, said the same thing. <laughs> Well, everybody was kind, and I was super, super excited and grateful. I was new, you know, young. I think I was 28, 27, 28. It was just really, really great time. It's been a great time. I can't believe I've been doing this this wow. long. Wow. And that I'm turning 5-0 this year. 50. I can't believe it. It's like, what? What, what did this happen? 50. I got a huge, Welcome to the 50s huge... club. Huge birthday celebration coming too. So you know, save the date, Sonia. And okay, yeah, I want I want to be there. Invite October twenty seventh. October okay. twenty seventh. Save the date. I'm gonna tell the world so that everybody else can get their tickets too. But it's gonna be really, really good. Really good. All right. All right. We let you get back to your LA lifestyle. Your LA ish. I'm in these streets. <laughs> I'm in these LA streets. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations on your stellar nominations. Um, Thank you. Be great, and we'll see you Thank on you. Mother's Day. It's Carla. Is your, is your, your wife's coming too, right, Carla? She's coming. Absolutely. It's a, it's, she's she's the mother in our household. So I want to make sure. Okay. Oh yeah, I might even bring my mama. Oh yeah, wow, that's come. incredible. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys greatly. 
Appreciate you too. We'll see ya. Love you, man. Okay, have a nice day.